Behind me here is a Ram 3500 with the works. I'm inside a Ram 3500 heavy duty. The Cummins engines is what people love about these Rams. This thing is 5.8 ton GVM. If you've got a heavy setup, you've got the canopy on the back, you've got the rooftop tent, you've got a big trailer behind you, stick around to the end of this one. I haven't seen a rooftop tent go up and down as easy as this. Starting with the suspension on this build, it's got the Kali catalog thrown at it. It's got the two and a half pin top suspension kit with the massive 2.5 remote res shocks on this one and every single optional upgrade. So with the Dominator shock mounts on the front, these things aren't gonna snap off with the extra load from these massive shocks. The Kali coil, the adjustable panard that's standard in every single base kit, as well as the optional upgrades being the torsion sway bar on the front, got the high mount, low mount steering stabiliser, which is gonna make drivability a lot better. It's also got the radius arms underneath with the weld on limit straps. This will allow the shocks to extend to their maximum and not overextend on those potholes or if the front wheels do leave the ground. The rear end on the suspension's got the massive Carly 2.5 shocks. We've done the leaf spring upgrade on the rear here to suit the weight of the canopy. And we've also got the airbag assist as well. So these are the Polyair leaf spring helpers. It's got the Daystar cradles under the polyair spaces, which allow those airbags to separate on full um, flex and then locate themselves. And under the polyair automatic wireless compressor setup, so just simply set your pressures for the rear airbags and everything's gonna do its thing from that polyair setup. Under the back, you can also see the shock guards here. It's gonna stop those stones from hitting up on those shafts. It's also got the diff guard under the front as well. The underside on these trucks, they're pretty much trucks, so it doesn't need a lot. But having these little things is just gonna allow for the suspension to last forever, look amazing for years and years to come. We'll swing around to the front here. As you can see, it's got the off-road creative color-coded front bar with the satin black hoop there. It's got the full Sentinel 9 LED lights on the front from laser lamps. So the distance from these laser lamps, you can set them and really throw one. I like throwing one up the guts of the road, two down those white lines on the highway. You're gonna get the best output. And then you've got the little steady LED lights under there as well. So a couple that shoot nice and low out to the sides. The 30 inch one in the middle will shoot down the center as well. And then it's got the massive carbon winch on the front here. This one's running the carbon tank 15K winch here. So super reliable winch combo. You've got good LED lighting, front camera relocation kit. So the camera set up in these rams is pretty damn cool. Relocating that camera there. You've only got tiny little stitching drama, but you get all the view. Under the front of this one, you've got the bash guards from Off-Road Creative. You've got the load rated recovery points here to suit soft shackles. Like I said, the diff guard under there is gonna keep that in good nick. On these Ram Truck Australia models, uh, they come with a lot of chrome. We've done the partial chrome delete on this one. So as you can see, you got your six pieces of uh, white on the front there. You got your satin back, black down through the middle and a little bit of color coding on the Ram badge there. These tie in really, really nicely to the color coded flares on the side. These ones are the Bushwhacker Smooth Extender Flares and having these ones here with the massive 325 6518 Yokohama tyres is almost a perfect fitment. You've got nothing that's poking outside that flare. We have managed to squeeze on some mud flaps on this one, which depending on the wheel and tyre combo, this is quite a challenge. This one is definitely on the money. Good 13 inch wide tyre in these 325s. You've got the stone guards on the XL side steps on the side here. So these are Amp Research XL side steps. They fold down really nicely. Got the courtesy LED lights under those ones there as well. And having the protection, what you will see on most of these big tours when they do go around Australia is how much stone damage you get on the side here over a period of time. The biggest recommendation is PPF on the vehicle and then choosing the wheel, tire, flare and mud flap combination that's gonna allow those stones to get captured all out the front here and not actually make their way all down the side. These 2023 models have got the new mirrors with the auto extend rather than the fold down on the 22. So that's a new little addition there. And as you can see, we'll pop up to the roof rack. This one's sporting the Rhino rack and backbone combo. So the Pioneer platform up on there. It's got the big dogs laser lamp bracket on the front. 
You got your triple R spotlights that are spread nicely. You've got a few different fins on the ram on the roof. And by using this uh, laser lamp combo setup like this one, we're able to get the most light. And the beauty with the mount here is you got the adjustability in those LED lights. So really spending the time when you first get these vehicles to set up your lighting output. You've got the three on the bar. This one's got the four on the roof and then you've got your side lights there being the steady as well. All of these are switched through the Switch Pro SP9100 switching unit. On the roof rack here, as you can see, a couple ones that aren't as popular, but super, super cool is the Hunter Gatherer rooftop comms brackets. So these are automatic folding brackets up here. We've got the GME with the 680mm antenna on this side. We've got the GME 1.2 meter whip with the Telstra Cellfire Go on the other side. And these are all controlled from inside the vehicle to so fold these up and down. As you can see, we've got the Max Trax pins up on there. That's pretty much it for the roof. As you can see up on there as well, it has got the Starlink. So there's a few companies out there that's doing the Starlink to the 12, 12 volt um, accessories with really cool waterproof fittings. So this one here is the first one of this brand that we've done, but let's kick around to the back here and see what's going on there. As you can see here, the Off-Road Creative Canopy, one of the most popular ones we see here at Big Dog Builds. Super neat finish from the headboard to the color-coded doors. So the little bit of customization you can do here, they've picked up the Method Bronze in the logo. You've got your diesel filler. We have got a massive 197 litre Titan tank underneath this one. You've got your AdBlue filler up there as well. And then we'll open this one up. As you can see, massive Bushwhacker 270 degree awning here with the black frame. The LED lights in this one makes it look super, super neat. Um, having the LED lights here. You've got your LED lights from Off-Road Creative inside the canopy here as well. This is switchable between orange, white. You can also do the warm white. I'm always super impressed when it comes to the quality of these builds here from Off-Road Creative. Massive Bushman upright fridge and just the use of space that they do here. You can definitely tell that the amount of hours put into the design for everything to work as well as it does. Massive air fryer in this one with the little kitchen utilities. You got your coffee machine with storage in there. You've also got your twin drawers. So loads of room, these things hold each. Um, and then your massive table as well with your twin induction cooker. So just that as a prep bench is one thing, but when you come out to that next level again, it's um, pretty damn impressive. So the power on board for this one, you've got your Cymarine there switching all of your loads. Um, you can see your water tank level as well. You've got your 240 power in multiple points as well as 12 volt outlets as well. Your toolboxes drop, drop down for your sort of dirty storage or whatever you're wanting to put in there. As we swing around to the back of the canopy, you can see you've got your 240 outlet. So if your caravan is running in, down in power, the beauty with a setup like this with a massive 400 amp lithium power setup on board is that you can turn on your inverter, do your outlet from your 10 amp plug here or 15 amp plug here, straight to your caravan, charge up the batteries in there because you're gonna typically jump in your vehicle and go for a drive for a day, which is gonna top up these batteries in no time. As you can see here, uh, this customer's gone for the twin wheel setup on the back and something I hadn't really seen before from Off-Road Creative. It's got the carbon winch on the back here as well, which is pretty impressive. So obviously the customer's gonna be able to pull these wheels down nice and simply. And then you've got your ladder on the back, which is only uh, one out of multiple points for the rooftop tent, which we'll show you in a second. On the back, as you can see, massive air safe hitch. And then with the canopy combo, you've got your power outlets and inlets as well. So solar in. 50 amp Anderson out, your 12 pin trailer plug there as well. This setup here, we've done the advanced ice camera setup. The cameras then run through the 12 pin plugs and so not having to run the safety Dave on this particular model. You've got your water tap outlet there, as well as your manual Schrader valves if you ever need them for the airbag. So what Off-Road Creative do, like I said, blind spot monitors, how good these canopies look. Um, in my opinion, they're one of the best looking canopies from the exterior. They've got your blind spot monitors working in the sides there, tucked in nice and neatly behind the PVC. And then you've got your inlet power as well. So if you are at a caravan park or at home and you do want to um, not rely on the solar that's up on top on this one, simply plug your 240 in there and that's going to charge that one up for days. We have shot this video a tiny little bit premature, not 100% there yet, 99. We're going to do a little exhaust tip there neaten up this one here, pop on the mud flap from Off-Road Creative and that's going to allow um, a lot better looking setup on the back there. And with the combination of the canopy, setting it up for the vehicle is definitely a must. So good suspension with the leaf spring reset in there, like I said before. 
And we'll quickly have a look in the side of the canopy as well, because this is pretty impressive. I love seeing a Pro Eagle jack on these builds, this thing here in the back. Uh, one thing that is spoken about a lot is if you do need to change a wheel on the side of the road, obviously this customer's thought about how he's gonna get his spare wheels off the back, as well as the Pro Eagle Jack's gonna be able to reach a vehicle with their extra height from the wheels and tires, as well as the suspension upgrade. So that one there, pop that one out, change your spare wheel if you do need to. And over here, massive drawer for storage. I'd say that's probably about 100 litre storage in there. And then you got your draw fridge as well. So upright fridge on that side, draw fridge on this side. And as you can see here, nice and little neat power set up. You've got your little inspection window for all your 12 volt, 240 volt set up in there. The batteries are tucked away nice and neatly. You've even got your fancy little light that you can pop on up in there as well. So 240 outlets over here, 240 outlets on that side, as well as the one at the back. You're definitely covered for all 240 and 12 volt needs. We'll shut this one because I'm super keen to show you what's up on top on the back of this one. I haven't seen this particular rooftop tent before, fully open. I've been on a few builds, but I haven't gone and opened them all up. This thing is wicked. Seen how easy it is to get up the back here. There is a second ladder to get up the side. This thing's got LED lights, it's got fans, the mozzie proof on the windows is amazing. I'll show you exactly how this thing goes up and down. I haven't seen a rooftop tent open and close as easy as this thing. You've got simple buttons on the side here. It can't be powered unless the canopy has um, given it authority. So in this case, super simple auxiliary switch. Push one button for the thing to fold up, another one for it to fold down and I feel like I'm in some fancy villa in the world somewhere. The quality and how this thing tucks away is just next level. If you like this Ram 3500 Super Tourer, I reckon you're gonna love this one here, and I reckon YouTube is gonna love this one here as well.